Hello, beautiful ladies, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be talking about modesty, why it's important, and why it doesn't mean looking like garbage. Everything about you screams virgin. You're about as sexy as a cabbage patch kid. It's exhausting to look at you. Girl, I'm Taylor here. Welcome back to my channel. We are currently 161 subscribers deep in our domination, Slobic City, Loba City. You know what I'm saying? So thank you so much if you already subscribed. If you haven't, and this is your first time here, welcome. Hi, how are you? My name's Dom, and I'm here for you every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday with a new video for your viewing pleasure, where I teach people how to do makeup and. How to and also criticize our society and various things that um are just like just sitting in my noggin, just, just sitting in my noggin. So if you enjoy that, if you like chatty, bubbly um, women of color, I suggest you go ahead and just you know like this video, share with your friends, subscribe. You can be best friends. Leave me some comments. I like to talk to you guys in the comments. And um, yeah, let's let's be best friends. I feel like we need more love in the world, so just go ahead and subscribe. Today we're going to be reviewing um, another classic Lay Abby video. I mean, I pick the ones I pick. I pick specifically because I feel like the rhetoric she's pushing is the most harmful. So this one I'm reviewing has probably been like the most reviewed video of hers. So um, I still want to add some more of my thoughts into it just because. She came for a very per important person in my life, and I just, that does not sit well with me and my spirit, and I'm, so I have to let her know what's up. Like, I help, help her understand that women are complex creatures. Like, we humans are complex creatures in general. Like, okay, so let's um, for yourself for, um, you know, the wrath of purity culture. <laughs> Modesty is dressing in a way that doesn't sexualize your body. I get the appeal of not wanting to dress modestly all the time. Even for those of us who do dress modestly, sometimes it's hard. It's fun to dress in a way that makes you desirable. It's fun to be noticed. But the question is, who do you want to be desirable to? And do you want to be noticed for being beautiful or being sexy? Modesty is about treating your body with respect. Who I want to be desirable to is going to depend on the situation. I mean, I honestly dress for whatever occasion where I'm going or what event we're going to. Most people do. I don't think most people are going to like wear a bikini to like their in office job. I don't know what world she be living in. Um, but most people don't do that, so there's that. And then also, why do I have to choose between being beautiful and being sexy? I think I can be both. I, I think I, I think I got both on lock. Like. Anyone can, I think both people can be both beautiful and sexy, like, I just, you know, I just, I feel like it's just not quite that, like, this purity culture is put us back in these, like, boxes of either, like, a virgin or a whore, like, who does he sound like, either one or the other, but, like, most people are on some sort of spectrum of, like, saintliness and, like, wholeness, like, it's not quite that black and white as they like to make it seem like it is. Yup, because the only way to respect yourself is to dress how stuck up conservative white women think you should dress yep that's the only way to respect yourself take notes ladies that's the only way to respect yourself the what what anything in pre-culture says it's the only way you can do it it's the only way you can. it's about recognizing reality that men are visual creatures not emotional ones it's about leaving things to the imagination it's about dressing beautifully and attractively but not garishly it's about embracing femininity and it's about dressing in public in a way that's appropriate for everyone from children to grandparents to moms and dads. Modesty is a way for you to respect yourself and respect others. When you go to the park and you're surrounded by families with children, is it fair to dress in a way that's distracting? No, instead, dress in a way that's appropriate for the occasion. When you meet a guy and immediately have a connection, you have one chance to make an impression. Do you want him to leave having your body at the forefront of his mind? or you as a person. If you are wearing something incredibly revealing, it will be difficult for him to focus on your personality. Instead, 
he might be focusing on your physical appeal. Why can't you think about both? As long as he's not being disrespectful. I mean, like, your thoughts are your thoughts. Like, I can't read his, this man's mind. So, I mean, why not both? Like, I'm hot and funny. So, I don't see why not. Like, both of them. Both of them. This part here about, like, do you want who do you want to attract a man who wants to just spend one, one night with you? Well, like, what if that's what homegirl wants, though? Like, what if she's looking for a hookup or like a beneficial friend or like a one night stand? Like, one, like, I don't know why people talk about like sex as if women don't like sex either. Like, who, who are these men? They're supposedly straight men. Who are they gonna be banging? Supposedly not other men. So, like, you would like to think that women like sex so I mean not everyone wants to be not everyone wants to be in a monogamous chip you know what I mean like it just it's weird and then it just you know it's you could, you could on the other hand empower on the other hand could say that yeah you as a woman have the right to make your own decisions and no matter how you're dressed you don't deserve to be violated but nope we have to just make sure we stick in purity culture oh no just stick into those guidelines can't those guidelines because men are, you know, they only worry about one thing. They're primal creatures. They're like cavemen. Me. It's like basically kind of what all she's saying. Like, of course, there are men who will look at you this way no matter what. But more men will think of you as a sex object if you dress like one than if you dress like a lady. I'm a lady. I'm a bad bitch. And if you don't like it, you can go f yourself. <laughs> You can dress modestly and beautifully. There are so many examples of this. Look at Kate Middleton, Michelle Obama, and Ivanka Trump. Nobody looks at them and thinks, wow, they're frumpy. Point taken, we probably can't afford any of their clothes, but um, I'll give her that they look nice. But in today's day and age, where everything goes, it's hard to know what's modest and what's not. Women like JLo and Shakira dancing in sparkly leotards and being praised for their bodies doesn't really help. You want to talk about bubblers? You want to talk about I know a lot of you don't know this, but Shakira is my musical mother. I am the fat love child of Janelle Monae and Shakira, so I take any um, flights at my mother's both them and my real mother very seriously and um she needs to watch what she's saying anyway invoking shakita because at 50 years old do you want to be trying to be praised for your body or praised for your family For your body or for your wisdom. What advice do you give to these young women? I think you have to, when you're talking about success, personal or professional, um, there's different things. Um, professional, I think it's the people who put in the extra work. I put in a lot of extra work and, and it gets tiring. It's, it's not the easiest thing all the time, but I always notice that even within my own industry, the ones who work harder, the ones who stay later, the ones who just are willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done are the ones who wind up going far. Um, as far as personal success, I think, you know, it's about being happy. It's about being good and whole on your own first, a whole person on your own, so then you can share that happiness with other people. But also steer them in the right direction. I mean, you can't say you really, you're a zero. <laughs> no, by talking to them, understanding what their concerns are, what, what sort of self-image they have, uh, and, and trying to, to show them their strengths, too. And if they have some kind of weakness, well, trying to, you know, not focus on those weaknesses. Um, I think in the entertainment uh, industry, that's, that's what works, you know? You, you, you know your strengths, you milk them. You know, you, you know your weaknesses, you try not to focus on them so much so that the audience doesn't focus on them. Maybe 10 years ago, I would have not done a video like She Wolf, but now 
it's something I feel like doing, you know? So why am I gonna deprive myself from, or deny myself the possibility of expressing uh, the way I feel? I wanna express myself freely. I don't, I don't wanna be in a golden cage anymore. I don't wanna be put behind bars. But I, I, I love what I do, and I'm always putting myself in front of new challenges. That I have to embrace new challenges, and, and, and those challenges, uh, make me grow and growing is the only way to go and the only way to I conceive life you know so yeah that's the way I treating your sexiness like it's your best feature is a losing battle because time always wins and now you're competing with other women too well crazy thing Abby maybe women can be both you can both be mothers great mothers and have great relationships as well as being sexy for their work you know I mean, I don't know how any else besides IVF, how anyone becomes a mother besides, you know, doing it. Um, so that's the first thing. And the only person here that is reducing J-Lo and Shakira down to their bodies is you. Because if you know anything, you know that these women are incredibly talented. Like that, that performance was so athletic. Like literally, like, it, like the equivalent I think of like, running three miles in an hour or something like that like it's crazy like the way they move and the listen that that performance took like but that to be reduced to just like oh they're dancing in shirts and also the, all the culture in there too like so much african and like middle eastern urban like influence in it like so but of course since it doesn't fit into her white picket sense of life it's all just like gyrating and like crazy but no, these women are talented. Only person that is reducing them to their body is you. You. So what's the difference between beauty and sexiness? Beauty is both inside and out. It's about how your soul shines through your eyes and through your smile. It's about how your external features complement your personality. Sexiness is just about your body. Modesty reminds us what's important. I mean, I feel like I agree with her definition of beautiful. Like, I feel like beauty comes from the inside out. So I feel like if you are really good at practicing like, outside and you treat people badly or talk bad things about people that you're like, it's like you become ugly, at least to me. Because again, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. That's my mic there. Um, but like sexiness, I don't think is solely defined by your body because there are so many different kinds of body types and that are now being represented because of body positivity. And like, I don't know, I feel like it's more so like, sexiness is like an attitude. Like you become a hot girl when you decide you're a hot girl or when you decide you're that bitch, just when you become that bitch. Like and more so I feel like it's like, not really, I feel like it's not about as much the physical look no, it, it's helpful if you have like an hourglass shape or if you're conventionally attractive, but like I feel like most people think confidence is sexy. Like I feel like I'm of people told me that they think I'm sexy because I'm confident. Which I didn't know either of these things, but like I think like attitude and the way you care stuff is gonna bring a lot of like gonna say like a lot about you and your personality and also your sex appeal is gonna come from your personality as well too. Like it's all intertwined. I don't think we can make it just one thing of like Oh yeah, either you're beautiful or you're sexy. Like, people can be both. Like, you, Jalen and Shakira are both beautiful and sexy. Like, they got it all, okay? So I don't, I just hate this, like, lack of nuance in all our videos. Like, just, nope, we're either, this is us. Either whores or we're virgins. That's the only things we can be as women. We're obvious women to pick out and just take, we have to make sure we don't provoke them. Like, you know, bears and occasions and like that. So it's just, just reduct. Of course, it's amazing to keep in shape. It's amazing to work out and stay fit. But I hope that when I'm 50, people are talking about my accomplishments as a mother, as a wife, and as a woman with values, not my muscle tone. So ladies, let's be classic. And let's dress like the ladies we are. I love how literally she is reducing both Shakira and JLo down to their muscle tone, down to their bodies. Like she's doing that. Like if you have any concept of the real world you know that both of these women have had decades long careers in the entertainment in the entertainment industry they're both mothers like how like so just because they dress sexually they can't be women of value like j-lo has how many albums somewhere around what seven studio albums herself done tons of movies like Obviously, the woman's, I mean, she's an all right singer, 
but she's definitely a very talented dancer, very athletic. Now Shakira. Now my mother, trying to say she's not a woman of value, she's all again, she's also a mother to her own two boys, okay? And she's been like in the music singing since she was like what? 10, 11 years old, like she's been singing for her whole lifetime, had a decades long, again like maybe three decades now long, career in the entertainment industry, who can play guitar, play drums, sing, do various things across like the globe. And then like she can also, she also has, I believe 10 studio albums, let me just check. Like they're both worldwide, but Shakira is really like that girl worldwide, like I feel like you can't not be someone like a, of value, you cannot be a person of value and like touch as many people as she has. So she's made a combination of what, like oh gosh, wow that's a lot, okay so let me see. But yeah, somewhere, like so Shakira's made the thoughts in their band of her like 30 year entertainment career, she's made about 10 studio albums, um, has done five world tours, and also, let me see, um, she also started her own charity called P.S. Descalzos. She just also started her own foundation called P.S. Descalzos, and they, I'm hungry, Fundacion P.S. Descalzos, so the Barefoot Foundation. Basically, what do like so What do we do? I'll link it down below too, so you, if you want to like donate to them or check it out yourself, you know why I'm bullshit. So what do we do? Infrastructure and effective practices. So we structure products that respond to the deficit of school infrastructure, increasing coverage and access to learning with appropriate places for learning. Okay, infrastructure improvement for coverage and school access. Allies, we implement projects with our allies. Where are we? We're in Barranquilla. Um, located in the district of Eduardo Santos La Playa in the city of Barranquilla. The center is recognized as a recipient of displaced population coming from departments bordering the Atlantic, such as Magdalena, Sucre, and Bolivar. Um, Cartagena, they have a location there, and one in Quito. So basically, it's about like them helping to provide like schooling and education resources for children in Colombia that are disadvantaged and don't have those resources. So let's see. Hayden asks, how did you get involved in the efforts to combat child poverty? When I was eight years old, my dad went bankrupt and he lost his business and our whole life changed so much because of this bankruptcy. And, and that was, really uh, upset about it so they took me to the park where all the orphans lived and sniff glue to deal with the tragedies of their own lives and I remember this moment vividly because I think it was a turning point in my in my life and in, in, in my views of the world and when I had my first big success when I was 18 years old a big international success I decided to establish a foundation for children and since then we've been focusing on providing high quality education with, with nutrition and it just became something very, very essential in my life. I guess obviously with Shakira you can tell that she um, can be both a sexy icon and care about children and do tons of philanthropy in her life. You know, just crazy idea that she's not just some sex pot. Neither of them are just sex pot. There are complex human beings, and um, yeah, just I want to encourage all women to dress how you feel, dress how you want to dress, dress how you're comfortable. Just be yourself, and don't feel pressure to give into critical culture. Don't get to get to give into club culture. Just do what you like to do. Do what's authentic to you. Don't let anyone tell you that you're wrong for doing that. So, um, but yeah, with that, like, again, with this stuff of modesty, like, just know your intentions and just know how to how go about them. I mean, just, I feel like what you're saying is just pretty dumb. Like, you know, people know are not going to dress like a hoe at work, but Anything for views, right? So, 
Well, that's all I gotta say for today. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.